Now let's see this example. Design a Turing machine for all palindromes. So our Turing machine has to accept both even palindromes as well as odd palindromes. We know what is a palindrome. The reverse of a string is equal to the given string. Let the string is ABBA. So the reverse of ABBA is ABBA only. Let the string is AAA. So the reverse of AAA is AAA only. So this is even length palindrome, whereas this is odd length palindrome. So our Turing machine has to accept both the strings. Okay. Uh, let us design for first for uh, even palindrome. Then we have to uh, make some changes uh, in order to provide odd palindrome also. Uh, let the starting state is Q0. Let the starting state is Q0. Q0. Uh, here, before the string, we can have any number of blank symbols. After the string, we can have any number of blank symbols. So here also, before the strings, before the string, any number of blank symbols. After the string, we can have any number of blank symbols. So not only these strings, we can take any type of strings. According to the choice, there is no problem. So for all the strings, this Turing machine can accept all those things. Okay. So Q0. Uh, if we read A on Q0, then change A to, then replace A by blank symbol and move the head towards the right till we get the blank symbol. So initially we are at A. So if we read A, then what we have to do on Q0, then replace it by blank symbol and move one position to the right. Okay. Next we are at Q1 state. If we read A's and B's on Q1, then, then don't change them and move the head towards the right till we get the blank symbol, okay? So if you read A on Q1, don't change A. So keep it as A only, but move the head towards the right. If you read B on Q1, don't change B, but move the head towards the right. So B, move, the, move one position to the right. So B, move one position to the right. A, move one position to the right. So now we are at B. Now we are at the blank symbol B. So if you read blank symbol on Q1, then don't change blank symbol, but move the head one position to the left. So now we are at this A. Okay. So here the first symbol of the string is A. So that A is replaced by B. Whereas the last symbol is the last symbol is also A. So now we have to replace this A by blank symbol and move the head towards the left till we get this blank symbol. Okay. So let the state is Q2. If you read blank symbol on Q2, if you read blank symbol on Q2, don't change B, but move the head towards the left. Okay, but move the head towards the left. So that, that is already over. That is already over. So now we are at A. So what we have to do? We have to replace this A by blank symbol and move the head towards the left. Okay, why? Because this A is for the, uh, for the corresponding first A. Okay. So replace this A by blank symbol and move the head one position to the left. Okay. So if we read A, then replace the A by blank symbol and move the head one position to the left. So now we are at Q3. On Q3, if we apply any number of A's and B's, then don't change them, but move the head one position to the left. So on Q3, if we apply any number of A's, don't change them but move the head one position to the left. If you apply B, don't change B, but move the head one position to the left. Here we have B, don't change B, but move one position to the left. B, don't change B, but move the head one position to the left. So next we read the blank symbol. Next we got the blank symbol. So if you read the blank symbol, then it specifies that one symbol is over. So next we have to search for the next symbol. So we need to go to the starting state. Okay, so here, uh, we can uh, write a transition like this. We can write a transition like this. So if we read blank symbol on the Q3, don't change the blank symbol. Don't change the blank symbol. Uh, but move the head one position to the right. So don't change the blank symbol and move the head one position to the right. So now we are here. This B. Okay. B. So here for A, already the path is over. All the transitions are written. Now we have to search for the B. So if you read, now we have to write for the B. So if you read B on Q0 state, then replace B by the blank symbol and move ahead one position to the right. So this is just like this transition only. 
So Q3 is over. Let the next transition is here. Let the next state is Q4. So replace this B by blank symbol and move the head one position to the right. Okay. Next on Q4. Q4 and Q1 are similar only. So if you need any number of A's on Q4, then don't change here, but move the head one position to the right. If you read B, then don't change B, but move the head one position to the right. Okay. So don't change B, but move the head one position to the right. So now we got the blank, blank symbol. So this blank symbol specifies that uh, we reach at the end of the string. Okay. So we, we have to move the head one position to the uh, left. Okay. Uh, so let uh, we read the blank symbol. So don't change B. But move the head one position to the left. Okay. Move the head one position to the left. So now the state is Q5. Let the state is Q5. So now we have to move one position to the left. Okay. Next here we got B. So this B is for this corresponding B. Okay. The second symbol from the left is 2. The second symbol from the right is 2. The second symbol from the left is B. That B is already replaced by blank symbol. Likewise the second symbol from the right is B. So we have to replace that B by blank symbol. So if we read B, then replace it by blank symbol and move the head one position to the left. So if we read B, then replace it by blank symbol and move the head one position to the left. Move the head one position to the left. So now we are at Q3. So on Q3, if we read blank symbol, then what we have to do? We have to move to the Q0 state and move the head one position to the right. So now we are at this state. So it specifies that all the symbols are over. All the symbols are translated into the blank symbol. Why? Because we don't have any A and B. Uh, simply all the symbols are translated, are replaced by the blank symbol. So we can say that it is a palindrome string. So now we have to uh, go to the final state. Okay. Now we have to go to the final state. Okay. Here for space constraints, I am writing here A. So this is nothing but self loop, self loop transitions. A, A, right. Okay. On Q0, on Q0. If we read, so now we are at which state? Now we are at Q0. Now we are at Q0. So whenever blank symbol is reading, then what we have from Q3 to Q0. So if we read the blank symbol, then keep it here same only. But we can move either to the left or right. It, it is our choice. Let us move towards the right. It is our choice. We can move towards the left also. So Q5 is over. Uh, now let the state is Q6. Let the state is Q6. So this is the final state. Okay. So here this path is for even palindrome. Even palindrome. So if it is an even palindrome string, that means if the palindrome string length is even, then this path will produce as the final state. From Q0 to Q6, path will produce as the final state. Okay. Now let us see about the R palindrome. R palindrome. So let uh, this is here. So, uh, so what will happen first? This A will be replaced by the blank symbol and after that we have to move the head uh, towards the right till we get the blank symbol and after getting the blank symbol we have to move the head one position to the left. Now this A will be replaced by the blank symbol and move the head one position to the left. Move the head one position to the left and after that we have to move the head towards the left till we get the blank symbol. So whenever we got the blank symbol then we have to simply move the head one position to the right one position to the right if you see this diagram next we we have a so that a will be replaced by the blank symbol so this a will be replaced by the blank symbol and after that we have to move the head towards the right so now we are at, at this position and we are at q1 state so what will happen now if you read blank symbol then it specifies that there are no other symbols all the symbols are replaced by the blank symbols then keep it as the blank symbol only but move the head one position to the left so we can say that this, this is also a palindrome string. Now we have to go to the final state. So in order to go to the final state, already we have Q6. So here, if we read B on Q2, then don't change B, but move the head one position to the right. Okay. So now we are at this position. Okay. Likewise, likewise, in between uh, AA, if we have B, if we have B, then what will happen? In between AA, if we have B, why? Because here the string is, W, W power R. In between W and W power R, we may have either A or B. Here W means A. What is the reverse of W? A only. So in between A, A, we can have either A or B. Let me have B. So if we read B, then we will go in this path. 
then Q five will generate the final state. Why? Because if you read B, then what will happen? You will go to the Q four state. You will go to the Q four state. So this B is replaced by the blank symbol, and after that, and after that, what will happen? If you read, uh, we we have to this A is replaced by B, this A is replaced by B. So now we are at this position, and we are at Q five state. So whenever we read blank symbol on Q five. Then replace it by B, B only. So that means don't change B and move the head towards the right. So here the point is this transition, this path and this path produces odd palindromes, odd palindrome final state. Whereas this transition produces even palindrome final state. This or this will produces odd palindromes. If the middle symbol is A, then Q2 to Q6 will produce as the final state. Whereas if the middle symbol is B. Then Q5 to Q6 will produce as the final state. So in this way, we can design a Turing machine for all palindromes. It may be either even or odd.